All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol HTZ, Hertz Global Holdings Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. And to all my subscribers, welcome back. So, Hertz had a run last week, and we have seen this actually break through every support level after that run. And it just broke through one of the most important ones, which was way down here. At 168 and before that one it was 182 which we were really close to it it broke through it it tried coming back and something that I'm seeing really really stand out to me here and is really important in this chart is how this support became a resistance the rejection happened there and that's actually our current resistance level and it continued in this direction so the question is will the bulls actually have a recovery right or will the bears continue to bring this one down to newer lows well wow, terrible arrow excuse me for that newer lows and bring it into further into bearish territory so super important things to pay close attention to is these new resistance levels and supports excuse me for that i jumped back to neil from my previous video but here we are seeing support actually got broken through and incredibly enough it became a resistance that's something very important to keep in mind we're going to look at the support level here one of the lowest points before the recovery and then also we're going to look at the highest point reached which again is basically the support level from yesterday super important to keep that in mind and the 50-day moving average is slightly above the price about 30 cents and some change that is 193 super important to keep that in mind 193 is the 50 day moving average if the bulls cross it we'll get back into bullish territory and as long as we're below it the bears are in control so super important to keep that in mind now for the bulls to get any sense of direction or at least some momentum to get back closer to the 50 day moving average to cross over and get back into bullish territory they have to break through this resistance level this resistance level is 179 they need to turn that into a support and break away from it so they can hit newer highs and newer resistance levels so one thing i do want to emphasize is bulls have to break through this but it does not signify that they've gained control they need to break through the 50-day moving average so that they can gain control and get back into bullish territory and that's 193 179 just gives us as investors a sense of direction where this is going and if the bulls can confirm and turn that into a support and slightly pull away from it there could be a rally and momentum forming a catalyst to work its way up to newer highs and newer resistance levels so keep that in mind bulls don't have control yet just because they broke through 179 because it's still in bearish territory it will get them closer to their goal which is 193 to get back into bullish territory on the other hand we have our support and this support level is 155 if this support of 155 is broken through this could start to see newer lows and newer support levels i mean we've broken through every single support level that was made as this bullish run leveled off and ran up and leveled off again and we just broke through one of the lowest ones which was 168 it's currently hanging out at 162 so the tug of war will be interesting but if this breaks through support of 155 this could be well on its way to newer lows newer support levels and moving further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction so super important to keep that in mind that if 155 is broken through this could start to move further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction getting deeper into bearish territory and hitting newer support levels and newer lows i want to emphasize to all investors again that if the bulls break through 179 they have not gained control that is just a sense of direction and if it gets turned into a support they can break away and start to hit newer highs and newer resistance levels to reach their goal of breaking through the 50-day moving average and the support i want to emphasize to all investors pay very close attention to how stock is behaving if it breaks through 155 because if this stock is moving fairly quickly to newer lows it will start to hit new support levels and move further away from the 50-day moving average or if it's hanging out sideways it's a chance for the bulls to reappear 
and bring this one back up. As always, this is going to be an interesting one for tomorrow. If you're a first time you are an investor and found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that are circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves. Well, the S&P 500 index rises up several points and by doing so, they're bringing up several ticker symbols, not all of them, but most of them up with them. And these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share that does add up. And one thing I am really big on is profits. If you put a dollar into the market and you get out with $2, you've made profits. You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the federal reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S and P 500 index up, also brings up individual ticker symbols with them. And again, 30 cents to $3 may not sound like a lot of profit per share, but that does add up. And like I say, profits are profits. So we're gonna look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what I talk about in the video. And it's a weekly series. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it. Definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out. But here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pump. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th and the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up. So on the 14th, we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 34.20. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index and that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're gonna look at another one here and the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling and you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps but on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part not every time but for the most part but on the 21st which was a monday it was rising up and it rose up to this point here and the next one was the 22nd so this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick and we were at 3270 this one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different there was a catalyst form beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59 it actually dipped on the date of the next pump which we see it here which was on the 29th of september and the next one was on the 6th which just happened yesterday and it actually slightly dipped now not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself because if we look at the previous notes that i did beforehand it was actually rising up with it the volatility was there but you were able to buy like for example how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up. Well, it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down. Beforehand, you can buy at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you were going on your way up. But right now, even as the market's going down, it's a great opportunity to take advantage 
of the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits. So here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs. Now here on the 6th, which on the 5th, it started to rise, it leveled off. This is the last candlestick of the 5th coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the fifth and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the six it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still having the market rise up. And even though the S&P 500 index is rising several points, there are individual ticker symbols rising up. Like I said, 30 cents to $3. Check out the video. I go into more detail. I don't want you guys to miss out on this great information. Click on it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.